So now we are sending the data from our HTML file to our views.py file. The only thing that is remaining is to send this data that is the first name and the email to our database. That is pretty easy to do and uh, how we are going to do that is we are just going to create a variable called s and then we are going to write the model name. So if we open up our models.py file, our model name is student. So we are just going to write student over here, let's write student and inside this we are just going to save this f name and email inside our student. So in models you can see that the variable is first name so we are just going to copy it inside our views.py file and f name equals to f name that we have received from the html file and we are just going to put in over here and the second thing that we have uh, put in, in our models is email so we are just going to write email equal to and then we are going to copy this email from over here and we are going to put an email now that we have uh, stored this uh, thing inside s variable, actually we haven't stored it yet because it's showing an, uh, showing an error on student. And that is because we haven't imported the models inside our views.py file. Just like we did in the admin.py file, we're gonna write from my site dot models import and then we are gonna import the student model and as you can see that the error has disappeared. So we are gonna store all of this stuff inside this s variable and then we can just write s dot save and that's pretty much it. Our uh, data is gonna be saved inside our database that is inside our student model. So let's actually check it out and see if it's working or not. So I'm gonna just stop the server and run it again. Let's click on run server. And what we are going to do is we are also going to open up the administration panel so that we can see when the data has been added. So we are just going to open up our admin panel by typing in admin. And over here, as you can see inside students, there is only one student object right now that contains the first name and the last name, not the last name, the email. But if we go back to our uh, this learn Python over here and it says my student dot first name is giving us an error. So let's see where the error is. All right, so it's sent giving us an error and this is because this is using the get request and we haven't specified what it should be doing in the post request. So what we are gonna do is we are just gonna write if request dot method equals to equals to and then inside it we are just gonna write post, post and uh, we are gonna put in a colon and then over here we are just gonna indent it properly. So if our request method is equal to equal to post then it's gonna save all this data inside our uh, database otherwise if it's get request it's just going to render this index.html page it's going to render it anyways even if it's the post or the get request because it's outside this if condition and uh, but if it's actually a post request it's also going to save the data inside the database all right so now we can go back actually let's run the server again so that we can make sure that there is no error happening over here it's a good thing we got an error so you guys can see basically what kind of mistakes you guys can do when you are writing in your own stuff so now we can go back over here press enter and you'll see that the error has disappeared now we can just write in johnny and let's write in a new name johnny since 01 at the rate gmail.com all right why, why have i written in capital letters anyways let me let's click on let me in as you can see it feels like nothing has happened but if we go to our student database and press enter you will see that there is this new student object that has been created and if we click on it you can see that uh, okay so the email is not coming in properly let's see what the problem is so we have copied in the email but we haven't changed the name over here so if we change the name of the email over here not in capital let's keep it in small then it's gonna work properly let's actually try it out once more